Okay, today we're going to be looking um, at population and components of change of population. So as we rewind a little bit, we've talked about where population um, clusters are in the world and where we saw more densely populated areas. We looked at population pyramids today in class. And now we're going to look at some of the more detailed um, indicators that geographers would use to look at um, population changes. Uh, as people age and, and populations change over time, uh, we see some characteristics that are helpful to help uh, do further analysis. So terms and concepts of this video looking at are going to be natural increase rate, uh, doubling time, crude birth rate, and crude death rate. Uh, these are pretty standard um, uh, statistics that geographers use to help understand the constantly changing population of our world. And when we look at that on different scales, we can also look at that within a country, within a community, within a local region, etc. Looking at the natural increase rate, increase rate uh, or often, as you'll see, is the, um, the NIR, or sometimes you'll see it as the natural rate of increase, the NRI. Uh, sometimes they're used interchangeably. Um, but this is basically just looking at a, a basic equation of the births and deaths that are happening within a population. And so depending on the, the, those factors, you could see a positive, a, a negative, or a, a constant figure, um, which would indicate a change in the population. Um, either increasing, decreasing, or just holding at the same basic level. Looking at this, it's something that we consider without uh, immigration or migration of population. We're simply looking at the births and deaths, uh, or the birth rates and death rates of that particular place, most often used as countries. Uh, because as we look at that, uh, that's going to be a contributing factor of an overall population change but doesn't re really reflect what's happening in, for that particular uh, group of people. So when we look at the world, for a long time the world uh, natural increase rate was right around 2, or actually is above 2. And over time that has decreased dramatically to the point where the world average is only about 1.2% a year. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but when we're talking about over 7 billion people today, um, at that rate, we're talking between 80 and 90 million people um, entering this, the, this world every year, a net gain of 80 to 90 million people uh, throughout the world. But when we look at where this is happening, we're ha it's unfortunate as we see it happening in places where it's least able to support these kinds of increase in population. So if you look at the global, um, this core PLEF map of the natural increase rate, we see that the vast majority of countries that are over 2.0 are actually located in Africa. And throughout Western Europe, uh, North America, uh, the more developed countries, you, off you see much lower r natural rates of increase. So what that tells us and what we would look want to consider is the doubling time. And this is a, actually, so there's a rule of 72 um, in geography. Sometimes you see it as the rule of 70, even the rule of 69. But it's a, a simple mathematic equation. Um, and don't ask me. Go talk to your math teacher and understand why that works. I don't really know, um, but it's a simple equation of using the rate of increase to determine how many years it's going to take for a population to double. In other words, if we take um, a natural increase rate of 1.2, the current world average, um, and divide that, uh, take 72 divided by 1.2, the doubling time of the world population is about 54 years. In other words, in about, what would that be, 2068, we're going to see a world population of about 14 billion. Now, we might actually get to 14 billion. There's some other factors at play. Just like the population pyramids aren't perfect at pr predicting the future, either is the, the doubling time figure. It's just a simple math equation. If we look at the current rate by 2100, technically it would be up to 24 billion. That would be huge. OK, as I mentioned, most of that growth is happening in Africa. If we look at that in a broader scope, um, where most of the growth in our world today is happening in lesser developed countries. Uh, that you see the lower increase rates are happening in the developed countries. Most of that growth is happening in the poorer, lesser developed countries. That has some pretty important implications in w when we look at resources, the environment, sustainability, and other um, factors that we'll consider through this course. The next element that we want to highlight as part of that natural increase rate is the crude birth rate. And when we talk about the CBR, or the crude birth rate, we're really just looking at the number of births that are happening per 1,000 people of a given population. So if there's 1,000 people in a given country and the, cr the, the crude birth rate is 20, um, we're going to see 20 babies born that year 
out of that group of a thousand people. And when we compare this, we can see that this is uh, around the world. We can look at, again, look at different places around the world and see these crude birth rates or CBRs um, hover in parts of Africa sometimes over 40 per thousand, whereas if you look at other um, indicators throughout the world, you're going to see very different numbers. And the same can be said about our crude death rates. Um, the crude death rates is just as the crude birth rates is given a, a statistic given per thousand people how many deaths are going to occur in that population. If we take those two figures and just subtract the crude birth rates minus the crude death rates, what we actually get is the, in, the natural increase rate or the percentage increase of population in a given year of that particular country or place. So, um, so if we look at this overall, this natural increase rate or the, uh, the crude death rate, we see, again, a similar pattern starting to happen. Now, you also notice, though, that this isn't all the same, that the birth, the death rate is a little bit different when you look at parts of Eastern Europe. Or if you look at Afghanistan, again, while most of these high birth, uh, crude birth death rates are, are more frequent in uh, Africa, we're seeing other countries that have relatively high crude birth death rates, even between some of the wealthier countries of the world. It's a question to be considered when we start looking at the comparison. And again, we can we look at comparative uh, or the patterns that we start to see. This is going to be through looking by looking at population, we can also start to identify some other patterns, whether we look at economic development, um, uh, you know, sustainability, uh, social or political issues that we could again tie to later in the course. So uh, just quickly reviewing the concepts you should take away from today's video, uh, natural increase rate, doubling time, crude birth rate, and crude death rate. If you have any questions, please be sure to write them down in your notes and be prepared to ask them when we get back to class.